Whereas, the indigenous Hawaiian people never directly relinquished their claims to their inherent sovereignty as a people or over their national lands to the United States, either through their monarchy or through a plebiscite or referendum. Express and explicit. You know what that is? That's in writing. It's the hardest thing to get from another country. They gave it to us. I am under the impression right now that they know that they have made a mistake. Senate Joint Resolution 19 to acknowledge the 100th anniversary of the January 17, 1893 overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii and to offer an apology to Native Hawaiians on behalf of the United States for the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Obviously we cannot change history and we're not here to change history, but we can acknowledge responsibility. The resolution would also provide the proper foundation for reconciliation between the United States and the Native Hawaiians. I think the time has come. A hundred years has been long enough. All we have to say is we're sorry. President Clinton has signed into law a measure that acknowledges the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii and apologizes to Native Hawaiians. This legislation is a forceful and necessary tool in our crusade to seek redress for wrongs committed against Hawaiians by the federal government. I know that the two senators of Hawaii do not agree with the radicals who wish independence uh, uh, as a result, but the logical consequences of this resolution would be independence. But the logical consequences of this resolution would be independence. They just never thought that we would come forward and reinstate the lawful inherent sovereignty. They never taught us how to do it. So they were gambling on the fact that by international law, if a country apologizes to another, and the country that they apologize to does not do anything about it, the apology will become legal, and they will now adverse the right to take possession. That's in international law. Well, we can establish in international law that uh, renewed nationhood for Hawaii isn't that fantastic. In the 1990s, you can look at Poland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Kazakhstan, uh, Macau, and Hong Kong will return to China after it was liberated from uh, Britain. Uh, various nations in Africa and Latin America were given back from French rule. So there's no reason why that couldn't happen here in Hawaii. The rule book is in here. It tells you how you can do it. The rule of post luminium is that by which the persons and property captured by the enemy are restored to their former status on coming again into the power of the nation to which they belong. I can now remove myself yeah, from their de facto powers over me into the lawful government powers. I think what we need to do is convince people who live in the lands they live in to build the nations. Maybe I'm missing something here. Again, you cannot achieve that until you complete your reinstatement process. I mean, I want to empower people. I don't, you know, I want to help people help themselves. Not One, you have to have a distinct population. Number two, there has to be a distinct geographical location. Number three, you have to have a competent, functioning government. Kanaka Maoli's possess an inherent right to the inherent sovereignty. We let us initiate this process with Kanaka. You are being asked if whether or not you are willing to give up your U.S. citizenship. Um, there are other Hawaiian groups out here. What makes your group uh, different or your purpose? Well, a huge difference is, number one, you know, as, as you can obviously see, I, I'm not of uh, Native Hawaiian descent. I'm actually a citizen applicant of the nation of Hawaii. There's a tremendous difference between a nation and an organization. I, as a citizen of the nation of the lawful government of Hawaii, have divorced myself or renounced my U.S. citizenship. I profess no allegiance to the United States. My allegiance lies with the lawful Hawaiian government. The papers that we sign up, uh, that we sign on to as part of the lawful Hawaiian government are forwarded to the State Department of the United States. 
That is a legitimate citizenship base. It is not an organization with members. So it's a big difference. And fortunately for us in Hawaii, we have a distinct territory known as the archipelago, Hawaiian archipelago. There is no other country that surrounds these islands. Suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 4904 as amended. So many as are in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds of those present having voted in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed. The reinstated Hawaiian government has 24 districts with 48 elected nobles and representatives. It is a direct democracy comprised of legislative, executive and judicial branches. The lawful Hawaiian government has convened nine times since reinstating on March 13, 1999. It operates under the mandate of its amended constitution of 2000.